my channel. Um, so today I have a ton of empties to go through. I've been saving these up for a while now and boy is there a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right in. I think I'm gonna kind of break these into categories. Hopefully we'll see how good it goes. But so the first category is gonna be makeup because I don't have a lot of it. So the first thing, it's not really an empty, but I'm throwing my old uh, Real Texty sponge away. It is starting to tear and get gross and it's just not cleaning very well anymore. Um, so I'm throwing my sponge away, it's gross. Um, so the other things I finished in makeup, I finished this little travel size of all nighter. Um, I think I'm gonna actually keep this bottle though and when I travel, I'm gonna refill it, but I did use this all up and I have two big bottles that I'm using now. So um, yeah, I mean it's empty, but I'm gonna keep it if that makes sense. It's just easier to travel with a size like this. And the last thing I'm getting rid of is um, a Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, I love this mascara. I usually use it. I'm using uh, L'Oreal Voluminous right now, but this is just like so dried up that like, yeah, it's ready to go. It's dead. Oh God, got some on my finger. So I guess I'll move on to, let's do home product net home products because I have a few things from Bath and Body Works that um, I've used up. So I've been saving the little like wallflower tags because I love these wallflowers and I figured I'd show you some of my favorite scents. So I have one in autumn that I used up. This is my favorite, really favorite autumn <laughs> set. It smells like apples. It's really fresh and clean. I like to put this one in our bedroom because it's really, really nice. Um, and then I have marshmallow fireside which actually it's not my favorite scent i know this is like a super popular scent on youtube and stuff but it's not my favorite it was fine um matt really liked it i don't know if i would personally buy it again but it was fine and we obviously used it all up and then this is my favorite winter scent it's mahogany balsam um but it's my favorite winter scent it's so good i love having this in candle form in wallflower form anything it's so so good and then I do have a couple candles as well. So the first one we burned up was the Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity. So I think I've talked about this before, but Matt loves Mahogany Teakwood. So whenever I see them, I buy, they're on sale. We usually buy like one of these. We always have them. I have one in our kitchen right now too. So I mean, they're literally everywhere and they're the best. The High Intensity one was really, really nice and we burned through it really fast. So obviously we love it um and then the other candle i burned up was this holiday one um i'm sure they have this scent still um it's one of my favorites for this time of year it says the warmth of spices of the of the holidays are captured in a special blend of cinnamon clove and a hit of fresh bergamot and it does it smells like the holidays to me it's all cinnamony and warm um it's not super strong or overpowering but it's just like the perfect scent so i was burning this in my office actually and i was loving it, it was so good so and then the last few things from bath and body works are a couple of hand soaps so I have one, this is really old. I don't even know if they make a scent similar to this, but this was in my guest bathroom and it was the best scent in the world. It had creamy coconut, frozen lemon, and vanilla. I have a vanilla coconut one in there right now and it's pretty good, but it's not the same. This one was just like the best and I'm really, really sad it's gone. And then we also had one, we love this men's collection noir scent. It's kind of musky and manly but it's I don't think it's like too manly I really like it and we keep this in our bathroom and me and Matt both loved this so um let's go on to body and like that kind of stuff so I have one really random thing we went through this is our favorite toothpaste I know super random but we both have pretty sensitive teeth so um we love the Sensodyne one and I always get the gentle white because I like to keep my teeth really not really there's just make your teeth like super white but it definitely like gets rid of some of those stains if you like to drink coffee and red wine like I do so we love this and I always buy the two packs because they're actually cheaper so pro tip um and then I actually have one more Bath and Body Works thing so we have another men's collection teakwood and um this is technically mats but I steal it because it smells so good and I just love it. It doesn't do like great things for your skin. It's not like super moisturizing or anything. I mean, it's a hair and body wash. So like how good can it really be for you? But it smells really good. So whenever I'm like 
want a little extra scent in the in the shower, I'll go with this. And um, yeah, I we both really love it, and we have another one in the shower already. Another thing me and Matt share <laughs> um, is head and shoulders. We both get really flaky scalps, and head and shoulders is just a classic. It works really well, and um, yeah, we have another one in our shower already. This was was this the no I guess not we had one that was like a special almond one I mean this one has almonds on it but I don't think it's I don't know anyway we love this we both use it I use it like maybe once a week and then use my other shampoo like once a week especially in the winter during the summer it's not too bad but during the winter this is great and then I also have my Joyco conditioner I think last time I did empties I had the shampoo and I finally finished the conditioner too um I love Joyco. Definitely want to repurchase this eventually, but right now I have a few other conditioners I'm working through. Um, so super, super good, but just not going to repurchase right at this moment. And then I also have another conditioner. It's kind of gross. I have this um, OGX Argan and Morocco, Argan Oil of Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. Um, so this stuff was... <laughs> It was interesting, I think is the word I'm going to use. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great for my hair. It was almost like too thick and like too oily for my hair, which is weird because my hair can take a lot and it's so dry and so curly that like I can use stuff like this normally and be okay. But if you don't rinse it, like for me at least, if I didn't rinse this out really, really well, my hair would be oily which my hair is never oily. So um, I would only leave this in for a few minutes. I know it says it can be a leave-in conditioner, but for me, it was like way, way, way too rich for, rich for that. So um, I would just leave it in for a few minutes like a normal conditioner and then rinse it out and make sure I rinsed it out really, really well. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would buy this again. I know it was like semi-cheap, but it took me forever to get through because it was like so rich and I just didn't enjoy using it as much as some other hair mask and conditioners I have. So yeah, probably won't get that again. Um, okay. And then I have a few body things. So the first couple, first three actually are from T tree hut, which I love this brand, but I did not enjoy their lotions very much. Um, I don't, the scents weren't that great, like compared to their, um, so I actually have the sugar scrub of the same scent from them too that's empty and the sugar scrubs smell amazing and they feel really good on your skin and they like do what they're supposed to do they exfoliate and they leave like a little bit of moisture on your skin but not anything crazy or greasy and they're so nice and I love 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 these highly recommend these but the lotion for some reason had like a weird almost like play-doh-y sort of scent to it which I mean it wasn't a horrible horrible scent but they're better smelling body lotions out there and like it was fine it moisturized but it wasn't like crazy moisturizing it wasn't like super sticky it was just like an average lotion and I think there's cheaper ones out there that smell better and work better so I mean not horrible just not my favorite so but I emptied both of these and then also from tea tree hut I have a shea butter body butter. Once again, this scent I love in the scrub. The coconut lime scrub smells so, so good, like especially in the summer. It smells amazing. <laughs> but the body butter, once again, had a weird, almost Play-Doh-y sort of smell. And like, this is supposed to be 24 hour intense hydration. And like, it was super thick, but I don't think it was super hydrating. It like Same with like the lotion. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't bad either it was just like okay like I love um I think I've shared it before the Maui babe lotion I think that's more moisturizing it smells better it's a little bit more expensive but like way worth it whereas this like I don't I don't know anyway it was fine wasn't bad it's gone not gonna get again <laughs> um and then I have a couple bath things and then I think the last category is gonna be skincare so I'm just gonna breeze the bath stuff so you guys know Dr. Teal's is my favorite. This uh, purifying and hydrating scent was really nice, really um, 
like not super strong just kind of refreshing and nice and I used both of them up um, and it was great I love Dr. Teal's the scent was good I've never had a bad scent from Dr. Teal's so yeah happy with those it's gone easily <laughs> and then so first oh I have one more bath product I almost forgot so I have the soap and glory fizzball bath bomb and I took a little video of it because it's super super pink and super super sparkly so if you're not a big fan of like sparkles in your bath you might not like it because they're more kind of hard to clean off they don't stick to your skin very much i didn't walk out of the bath like super sparkly but like my bathtub was super sparkly um but the scent of this oh my gosh this one's in the smoothie star i think i have a i don't remember i think i have the original one too but um this smelled so so good. I don't remember. Did it say what scent is on here? No, it doesn't say, but it kind of smelled like vanilla-y and like just super refreshing and cozy for winter and I loved it. It le left my skin feeling really good. Um, it was a pleasant experience. It's a little cheaper than a Lush bath bomb. So, I mean, I would definitely get these again. Like, I think I got these when they were like buy one, get one 50% off or something like that. And I would definitely, definitely buy it again that way. I am... Um, yeah, I think they're really good and I really like them. So happy with this one. And then another thing from Soap and Glory is their hand food. Um, I love this lotion. I got my mom to take to it too. It's a little expensive for what it is, but it's really, really good. And the scent's really nice. I think I just, I don't think they have, no, I know they have new scents in the hand food now. I just, this is the original one and, um, yeah, it smells really good, it makes your hands super hydrated, but I left it a little too long and it separated and it's clearly bad now, so it has to go bye-bye. I have a couple other hand creams I'm using now, but I would definitely repurchase this if I like ran on my other hand creams and was deciding between things. This one would definitely make the list of um, things to repurchase, so yeah, love it. So the final things I have is all skincare. I'm going to save the sheet masks for last because I have the most of them, but just prepare yourself for that. So the first thing I have is a Pond's cold cream cleanser. I love this stuff to take off my makeup. It's the only thing I've used to take off my makeup besides, um, sometimes I'll use a micellar water if I have some, but, um, I mean, this stuff takes it, your makeup off so well. It's so inexpensive compared to other cleansing balms. And it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized and nice. Um, this is my first step in cleansing. I do use another cleanser after this. But, I mean, if I'm, like, super lazy and, like, I'm just gonna take off my makeup and go to sleep. Like, I feel totally comfortable just using this to take off my makeup and go to sleep in. Because it moisturizes just enough and, um... Yeah, I mean, I love this. I'm already on my other tub. I've had travel tubs. I go through this stuff all the time. It's so good. So always will repurchase this for me. I think for me, I don't even want to try other cleansing balms that are more expensive because it seems like a waste of money to me. If this can take off my makeup and melt it all down super quick, I don't see why I need to pay more money for it. But, um, you know, love this stuff. So always. And then, so the next step I would go into would be my cleansing, actually, so this works out. And I have a Clinique, my Clinique uh, rinse off foam cleanser. I even cut the top off to try to scrape out every last bit of this. Um, I've talked about it before. I love this stuff. Always repurchase it. Little expensive, but for me it really works and I don't want to mess with a good thing right now. So, yeah, love this. And then I did finish up one of my tea tree oils. I've talked about using tea tree oil on my face before too, but I really think this stuff makes a difference with my acne, um, keeping it at bay and keeping all my pimples small and stuff. So I love tea tree oil. Um, I bought this one at Fred Meyer, but I'll link the one I bought from Amazon I'm currently using down below. I'll link everything I talk about down below, by the way. But um, yeah, I will link the one I'm currently using. It's really nice too. But I think any, like, therapeutic grade um, tea tree oil will work. And um, just make sure you mix it with a carrier oil. So I use jojoba and rosehip to mix with this. So, um, but yeah, I love tea tree oil. I will definitely continue using it. Love it. 
And then the last thing before the face masks is I have like one more use out of this, but I figured I'd throw it in here anyway, just so I don't have to like save it forever. I have um this Milani, hopefully you can read it. It's the Keep It Smooth, it's a lip balm. It's a Luxe lip treatment, it says. And I love this stuff. It's um I love Aquaphora. Let me put that out for there first. Aquaphora? I don't think there's an A on the end. I don't know. I'm I've been using Aquaphora for years, ever since I was on Accutane. That stuff is the best. Um, but if you want to treat yourself a little bit, this stuff's really nice. It's not super expensive. It's a really thin lip balm. Um, and I like to just keep this on my bedside table and I'll use it like as I'm going to sleep. Um, and the scent's really pleasant and um yeah, I think it's just a good like little treat. To have for your lips and I think it does a good job of keeping them smooth and yeah I mean I really like it and um if I'm like feeling like a little treat I'll probably repurchase it but for now my Aquaphor does fine so yeah but love this stuff all right and then on to all of the face masks uh, I'm gonna start with so I got a lip mask actually so I got this free and something it's an Ulta Beauty lip mask um, with cranberry and pomegranate and this was nice it was like a jelly mask and um, I really enjoyed it I mean I used it one day when my lips were like really cracky and peeling and I figured you know I just need like a little extra pick-me-up um, and it covered my lips really well it stayed on really well which was nice and definitely felt like my lips were more moisturized and plump and stuff afterwards which was nice um, I don't know like, I don't know, I don't use lip masks that often, so I don't know if I'd purchase one for myself, but maybe like, like I said, if my lips were like really dry and cracked and like I really needed a pick-me-up, maybe I would, but um, it was nice and I liked it and I'm glad I got it, so there you go. <laughs> and then I have, I'm just gonna quickly mention I have two of my Neutrogena Hydro Boost masks. I've talked about these a ton, love them, super cheap, buy one, get one 50% off or something, wait for it, they're just so so good Neutrogena is usually always buy one get one 50% off somewhere so love these um and then I have two Tony Moly I'm whatever mask so I have a lavender one and I have a Macchiagella I don't know how to say that word but I have a skin purifier one and hydrating ones I've talked about these masks a lot too they're really really great I like a lot of uh, the different types of them, the skin purifying, the hydrating, um, there's brightening ones. I really like these. They're super cheap. Um, and I always pick like one or two up when I'm at Ulta anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are always a go-to classic for me. So yeah, easy peasy. Whenever I need a good pick-me-up, these are always one of my go-tos as well. And the last two are new to me. So the first one was this uh, Bliss Holographic Mask, and I actually meant to get, um, there was a brightening one. This is a Hangover Fix, Replenished with Electrolytes. I think this was more of like a moisturizing one, um, but I loved this. It was so much fun to use. It was really cute on the face. Um, I don't think, like, it did anything crazy amazing or anything more than, like, the Tony Moly ones or the Neutrogena ones, but it was a fun experience, and I think if these, I think I got this when it was on sale, and I think if I ever saw them on sale again, I would get them. Um, they were a little bit more than, like I said, the Tony Moly or the Neutrogena ones, but, like, if you're looking for a fun girls night or something, this was a lot, a lot of fun to use. And it had little like martini glasses all over it and stuff. It was cute. I liked it. It didn't do anything bad for my skin. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's like a good, it's a good mask. It's fun. But uh, I think I would only buy it if I saw like Bliss was on sale somewhere. But yeah, it was fun. And then the last one I just used yesterday, actually, and it's this Acure Biocellulose Brightening Mask. Um, I'm not totally sure how I feel about this mask yet because it was fairly expensive compared to other biocellulose masks I've seen before. I got this when it had a cartwheel offer on it. Um, and the biocellulose was actually like a lot thicker than I'm used to. Usually biocellulose are like super thin, almost like second skins feeling, which sounds really creepy, but it's really 
really enjoyable because it sticks to your face really well and doesn't slip around. And this one did too. It was just a lot thicker than I expected. And um, it felt really good on the skin. My skin did feel pretty sticky afterwards from the, um, they call it an elixir. It's a serum, whatever, it doesn't matter. But um, the serum was a little sticky afterwards. Um, but it wasn't like tight or dry. It definitely helped um, hydrate and do all that fun stuff. I didn't notice a huge difference in brightening, but I mean, it was only a one-time sheet mask, so I don't know like, like how much brightening you're actually gonna see in one use. Um, I think if I saw it again, like super on sale, maybe I'd buy it and try it again. But I think not on sale. This was like a five or six dollar mask, which for me and sheet masks, that seems like a lot. Like the Tony Moly ones, I think are only like three dollars, maybe four at the most. Um, and I think they do just as good a job as this one did. So yeah, I'm like still on the fence about this. I'm not really sure how I feel. It's not bad. It wasn't amazing. That's pretty much where I stand. So yeah, I think that was all of my empties, which, you know, it's a lot of trash. I got to go and recycle and stuff now. But I love sharing the empties because it's stuff I've used up, I have opinions on, and I always enjoy watching other people's empties, so I figured if I enjoy them, I'm going to make them too. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff if you feel the need to join our little family, and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye!